Once upon a pond, where the water shimmered like liquid gold under the warm sun, there lived a little duckling named Darcy. Now, Darcy wasn't like the other ducklings. While they had soft, fluffy feathers in shades of white and gray, Darcy's feathers were a patchwork of mismatched colors, and his beak was a little crooked. But Darcy didn't let his appearance bother him. He waddled around the pond with a cheerful quack, making friends with the frogs, turtles, and other waterfowl. One sunny day, as Darcy paddled around the pond, he overheard a group of ducks whispering nearby. Look at that duckling. He's so ugly, one of them quacked. Darcy felt a pang of sadness in his heart. He had always known he looked different, but he had never realized that others found him ugly. Feeling dejected, he retreated to the shade of a willow tree, his feathers drooping. Just then, a wise old turtle named Terence approached Darcy. Why the long face, young one? Terence asked kindly. Darcy sniffled and confessed, the other ducks called me ugly. Maybe they're right. Terence chuckled softly. Oh, Darcy, beauty isn't just about what's on the outside. It's about what's in here, he said, tapping Darcy's chest with his flipper. Darcy looked puzzled. What do you mean? Terence smiled. True beauty comes from kindness, compassion, and love. And from what I've seen, you've got plenty of that, my dear duckling. Darcy's eyes lit up with understanding. He realized that it didn't matter what he looked like on the outside. What mattered was the love and kindness he shared with others. With a newfound confidence, Darcy returned to the pond, his feathers ruffled but his spirit soaring. The other ducks may have thought he was ugly, but Darcy knew that he was beautiful on the inside where it truly mattered. From that day on, Darcy continued to spread love and kindness wherever he went, proving that true beauty shines brightest from within, even if you happen to have a few mismatched feathers along the way. And as for the other ducks? Well, they soon learned that it's not what's on the outside that counts, but what's in the heart.